Chatham-Kent Secondary School returns to our stage for the fourth time. Their production is under the direction of Sharon Lessie. Sit back and enjoy the humorous Miss Wimmis beauty pageant along with their true story monologues that will truly make you think. Now shut your mouth and start acting careless. Uh, all right, I, I guess I can do that. The whole acting careless isn't really working for you. I think the scene would go much better if you actually got your shirt caught on some gears. Or maybe your face. Just kidding. But seriously, that would be a killer scene. Do I have to? Honestly, there are only so many things that can go, can go wrong while trying to impress your colleagues. Just work with what you got. Yes, what my colleagues think of me is important, but it's not worth injuring myself over, is it? Lifting these boxes is both a physical and ergonomic hazard. Besides, I think I could earn a lot more admiration if we made this play a whole lot safer for everyone. Make it safer for everyone, eh? Well, I guess we can do a rewrite. Step one, you say we need to talk He walks, you say sit down, it's just a talk He smiles politely back at you You stare politely right on through Some It was just another day Just another day I arrived on time to work at the paper mill It was my son and I's first day working at the logging company I was working for Powerback, a company that cleans out industrial and residential ducts I worked there every summer to save money for university. I was a single father trying to support four children. My wife died five years ago from cancer. I just wanted to make a little extra money and prove to my parents that I was responsible. I was 21. 45. 19 years old. Every summer, we went through the same health and safety training procedures. It seemed like such a bother at the time. I wish I would have understood its importance then, but... We were given safety glasses to do the job. We weren't given much instruction, so I didn't ask many questions. I wish I would have asked more, but... A bunch of us were working some overtime shifts, hoping to make a little extra money. We were unsupervised. I was certain I a supervisor, but now it's, it's too late. late. I was out working around the floor when I decided to cross over a conveyor belt system that ran throughout the mill. Everyone used it as a shortcut. If only I would have taken the long way. It would have taken 30 seconds at the most, but I didn't, and now I, I pay, pay the, the price, price every day. day. We were up at 5 in the morning and on the job site at 6. After lunch, me and my son were sent to fix a cable skitter that had jammed earlier that day. I let my son slide right underneath the machine as I fed him the instructions. 
We were cleaning a duct, which was part of a paint booth. While it was inside, the paint particles ignited, resulting in a huge fireball. I screamed in pain. When I walked over the machine, my foot hit exactly the wrong place at exactly the wrong time, and the belt system collided. I fell onto the conveyor belt. I was pulled further and further as there was no emergency stop. From the corner of my eye, I saw the machine start to move. All I could hear were the muffled screams of my son as I felt a sharp prick in my abdomen. I looked down as the blade slowly moved into my body. Somebody help! Please! Help! Luckily, a fellow coworker heard my screams and stopped the machine just in time. He saved my life. I was barely able to crawl out of the duct to save my life. All I could do was watch my son break down right in front of me. I was, he was about to lose another parent. My foot was hauled into a hole that was so small, a highlighter marker couldn't even fit into it. It took 25 minutes for the maintenance crew to disassemble the machine. I didn't go into shock or lose consciousness. I remember everything and how in those 25 minutes, I endured the most horrible pain in my entire life. I wasn't in the duct for very long once it had been engulfed in flames, but those few seconds caused me to have third degree burns on over 82% of my body. I could hear my fellow employees screaming in horror. I knew my life would never be the same. I wish I would have taken the long way. I wish I'd have been supervised. I wish we had better protective equipment. I wish I'd have been trained better. I wish I had my leg back. I wish I had that day back. I wish I could see my children just one more time. There she is. Miss Everyone, and welcome back to the 15th annual Miss Women's Pageant. Just to recap for you, here's our final late contestants. Miss Compressed Gas enjoys long walks on the beach and slumber parties. But watch out, this little lady tends to explode like a rocket. And here's Miss Oxidizing. She enjoys swimming and dancing and describes herself as someone that could feed any flame, causing fire to become much hotter and larger. And here's Miss Poison. She enjoys acting in comic books and is known to have a bad temper. Don't get this little girl in a tizzy or she'll get you with her serious and acute poisoning. And here's Miss Biohazardous. What can I say about her? Well, uh, she'll give you a disease if you don't wear the proper safety equipment, if you know what I mean. And here's Miss Reactive. She enjoys... I'm going to win this title. If I don't, I will cast a spell on you all that will seriously harm your eyes and burn your skin and lungs. <laughs> okay, Mrs. Corrosive. Uh, isn't she lovely, everyone? <laughs> Security. God, you're creepy. And here's Miss Reactive. She's a straight-A student who enjoys books and reading and... I am Miss Toxic. I'm the prettiest girl here, and I'm going to win. If not, don't be surprised if I cause slow poisoning or other illnesses. Yes, as I was saying before I got rude... Really I'm Miss Flammable. And as you can see, my name speaks for itself. People often tell me when I'm around, things could a burst into flames. Okay, so here's our question round for the Miss Wimbus pageant. Miss Reactive, you're the first one down. Come on. Miss Reactive, if you could change anything in the world, what would it be and why? Um, I would like get rid of peanuts. Yeah, I would like get rid of peanuts because I'm allergic to them and I would react to them and <gasps> oh no, I'm swelling up. I better get to a hospital. Wow, okay, uh, Miss Poison, you're next one down, come on. Do you think reading is good for the children? If so, why? There you are, Poison Ivy. Oh, crud. You'll never catch me alive, Batman. I, I can't stay compressed forever! 